On Good Friday, Christians celebrate the death of Christ Jesus. There is the belief that Jesus died once for all. In fact, there were many passages throughout the New Testament which directly teach this. And it's a popular phrase, he died once for all. But is this actually the case? As it would seem, the Bible teaches that he died twice, not once, which raises some very important questions when it comes to salvation in Christianity. Before we look at that passage which changes everything, let's begin by looking at the passages which explicitly state he died once for all. To begin with, there is Romans chapter 6 verse 10 written by the Apostle Paul. I'm reading from the English Standard Version. It says, For the death he died, he died to sin once for all, but the life he lives, he lives to God. Now we read from Hebrews chapter 7, verses 26 to 27. It says, For a high priest such as this indeed is fitting for us, holy, innocent, undefiled, separated from sinners, and having become exalted above the heavens, who does not need every day, like the former high priest, to offer up sacrifices for his own sins, and then for the sins of the people, because he did this once for all when he offered up himself. Now we read from Hebrews again. This book is attributed to the Apostle Paul, uh, but the majority of scholars today view this book as having been anonymously written. Here's what we read from Hebrews chapter 10 verse 14. I'm reading from the Lexham English Bible. It says, For by one offering he has perfected for all time those who are made holy. So here we see there are several passages which explicitly teach that Christ Jesus only died once. But as it turns out, this is clearly not the case. Let's begin with the book of Revelation. It's one specific verse. Revelation chapter 13 verse 8. It reads, And all those who live on the earth will worship the beast, everyone whose name has not been written since the foundation of the world in the book of life, belonging to the Lamb who was killed. This verse explicitly teaches that before the foundation of the world, before the earth was created, the Lamb, who is Christ, was indeed killed. It's direct and it's explicit, which means that Christ didn't die once for all, he actually died twice. So the question becomes, who is actually right here? Someone might say, well, you're just reading from one translation. So why not read from the most popular translation of the Bible, the King James Version. This reads in Revelation chapter 13 verse 8, again the same passage. It says, And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him whose names are not written in the book of life, of the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. This passage is even more clear that the Lamb is slain, the Lamb who is Christ, is slain before the foundation of the world. So we have many questions to ask here. To begin with, how many times has Christ died? Is it once or is it twice? According to the passages that we read from Romans, from Hebrews, the answer would be once. But in the book of Revelation, the answer would be twice. So here now we have a second question. When it comes to the epistle to the Romans and the epistle to the Hebrews, if God inspired this, did he forget that the lamb was already slain once and thus it would be he died twice? Could God make such a mistake? If God on the other hand revealed the book of Revelation, did he forget that the lamb would have been slain in the future rather as opposed to in the past before the foundation of the world? Either way, this conundrum cannot be solved unless a Christian has to deny the passages in either Romans, Hebrews or the book of Revelation. This is a question that needs to be answered. What are your answers to this question?